Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We're going to take a look at the cards, get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose uh, three oracle cards for additional information. So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose, the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups. So the Wheel of Fortune is um, always an interesting card to think about because it really goes to the cycles within life and on earth, how uh, events and happenings and situations and people come and go. And the movement of our life continues to spin. It's, you know, everything is in motion. And sometimes these events come to us and they come surprisingly, they're random, and they can be a positive impact or um, change to how we live. At other times, the Wheel of Fortune spins and it seems that it's gone in the opposite direction where everything seemed to be going so well and then you end up at the bottom of the wheel and you might feel topsy-turvy, you might feel out of control. You may feel that things are spinning out of your control. So with the Wheel of Fortune, there's this sense that perhaps change is coming. And we always know that change is coming. We're always aware of that, that things could, could be very different within a moment's notice. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a matter of how we react and how we respond to these changes. If we are flexible, if we adapt, if we allow for the change to come and if we try to think about it, how to make it work for us. And of course, there are events that just uh, are really unpleasant, like, you know, you were going to go on a big skiing vacation and you got an injury and you couldn't go. It was unexpected. You know, it's the random wheel of fortune spinning. And it's just a reminder sometimes that the universe has a grander plan. And yes, we have will and we have a determination of how we will do things in life, but often um, sometimes things just are out of our control and they happen. What we can control is our ability to respond and to react. So, you know, I would say that this is a, this could be an indication that things are speeding up in your life that you feel thing, you know, that you might have to make a quick decision or that there's just things are in motion. You know, the life, your life is in motion. You've got a lot going on. I also sometimes see the wheel of fortune as the being very active. So with this Wheel of Fortune here, we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, the big hand from the universe, from divine source, saying to you, here's this wand. And I want you to think about for a moment what really makes you happy, what gets you excited. What would you consider to be your passion? How are you going to bring that into your existence? existence? into your life because wands it's about capturing and creating that excitement and the desire to do something so wands could be a spur of creativity inspiration to move in a new direction you know the desire to perhaps build new relationships new networks new friends travel there's so many things how does how does passion speak to you and so the ace is this temporary opportunity to say, let's make it happen. 
you're thinking about it and thinking about it, well, here's the wand. Now go forth and do something. And so it's a matter of really taking your power, your uh, the heart within that wants something, and to go and, and make the plan, start to do it, get it roll Again, I would say get it rolling. You know, whatever it is that perhaps is that you've been thinking about is start moving on it. And I think this Ace of Wands is important because it speaks to the gentleman in the Four of Cups. So he's sitting under the tree. He looks reflective. He's contemplating. He's looking at the cups that are full in front of him. He's not seeing the cup that's being offered to him because he's very focused on what is there, what he has. And sometimes you have to think beyond that of what's just in your circle. And you have to be open and receptive to ideas, inspiration, opportunities that come your way. So that means keeping your eyes looking around, scanning the horizon, you know, being very mindful and aware. Often we see the Four of Cups. There's a sense of perhaps discontentment with what you're doing or your life. Maybe you feel a little stuck. Maybe you simply need some time to think about things and you need the solitude underneath the tree to sort it out. And that's fine, but if you continue to stay sort, if you just continue to isolate yourself like that and not opening yourself to opportunities, then you're really, you're not putting yourself in the best position because you're just kind of shutting down in a way. And so I think with the Four of Cups, it's important to reflect if something isn't right in your life, if you feel that you're not able to enjoy your passions or you're in a relationship that's not helping or making you feel alive, then use this Ace of Wands as a spur, as something to get you into the place where you can enjoy your passions and take advantage of them and make them work for you. This is not a permanent card. This is a temporary time where you are feeling this, uh, another day, another dollar, you know, it shouldn't have to be that way. For many it is, but it could be, you know, if you start to incorporate a hobby or something that really has meaning to you, you never know that that could end up being a fulfilling career. So if you love taking photographs, and maybe you, you know, start to do a little extra work to help people with headshots or family portraits or children's portraits. You know, maybe that can turn into something else. It's because of the love of what you're doing. So interesting cards, always uh, interesting to see the Ace of Wands. I think it's a, I would describe it as a driver, a card that drives and inspires. Let's take a look at what we have for numerology. We have 10, 11, and four is 15, and that reduces to six, and six is about stability. It's about social compassion or social consciousness, uh, finding peace. And then finally, let me choose an oracle card for an additional message for the reading. Truth. Truth, playing the harp. Hmm. So, you know, I, I think that when we are in these reflective stages, when we have these moments when we're like questioning or really thinking about what do I need to change? I just don't feel right. You have to look at the scenario or the situation with truth. You have to be honest with yourself. 
and really think about things. What do I contribute to this lack of enthusiasm? What's happening externally that someone else is perhaps bringing to it? So look for the truthfulness of a matter. Find your own truth. You know, always lead with truth as well. So this is what I have for you today. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday. If you found something helpful with this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I welcome all the new subscribers and my regular friends who watch all the time. Very grateful for your comments, your likes, and your shares. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.